So yes guys, this is the new Garden Street. Again, we're looking at how Queenstown, Georgetown is being transformed in the era of oil and gas. Remember that's one of the main themes of this channel is that we're actually tracking and chronicling the transformation of Georgetown in the era of oil and gas as a result of the oil and gas industry. So I remember when this building was under construction, I showed you that this building was being constructed as a as a residential um, building here at New Gordon, New Garden and Forshaw Street, right? Forshaw and New Garden Street. That's New Garden. So a number of buildings also on the next street, new buildings that are constructed. Uh, these are residential buildings. I'm gonna show you that and update on that, on that in the next video. But that's Foreshaw Street looking east. That's Foreshaw Street looking west. And if you look straight ahead, there's a new building in the middle of the street. That building is on um, Cumming Street. It's a building at the end of the street, Cumming Street. So a lot of these new buildings going up. And what we've been talking about recently is the quality of construction and the size of construction. So these buildings, right? This one is a residential and possibly a condominium or rental, apartment rental building. These buildings, multi-story high-rise buildings were previously being built from with reinforced concrete. In other words, they put rebar into the concrete to make the pillars, right? So that's how they built them back in the 2000s and, be and before, right? That's the Michi looking back where we've come from, right? So, but now everybody's building taller, you know, six stories, seven stories, eight stories, nine stories. And I'm pretty sure this is probably gonna be turned down torn down in a minute and you can't really build even residential buildings in residential neighborhoods that are seven stories tall eight or nine stories tall with reinforced concrete and what we see is people struggling to make that transition all right so I pointed out in one previous video how the sheriff group was building a mall and a shopping mall and hospital on Heroes Highway, that new bypass road that's being constructed. Behind South Bramwell Gardens. And now the last time I went visited, they had stopped construction in the old way and were building, putting I-beams, right? I-beams on on top of the concrete pillars. That's Landscapes, Landscape Street and New Garden Street. We're on New Garden Street. We're walking north on New Garden Street. That's uh, the St. Patrick's Church. That's Landscapes looking west. And if you can see closely, there are a number of frames, building frames going up. It's not convenient, convenient for me to walk past all of these frames in this video, but what I'm pointing out is that in this case, there's a like steel frame, right? So somebody's building a multi-story building, it looks like five floors or six floors with a steel frame, I-beams. And in a residential neighborhood that is traditionally being built with concrete, I think if you go back to previous videos, I made last year you'll see my description of how the residential neighborhoods have been transformed right the construction of the buildings have been transformed this I think is a cricket cricket field cricket pitch 
here you'll see how those residential buildings have been transformed from wooden buildings to concrete well this transition is from concrete to steel at least steel frame buildings and that transition I think is in inconsistent it's in fits and starts so what happened with the sheriff construction on sheriff's construction on um, Heroes Highway is that the next time I went past it I see a government of Guyana billboard saying that this is now going to be the headquarters of the Guyana Water Incorporated and that and I've seen also that the building is now being constructed out of steel. So the first two floors were constructed with concrete pillars and they started using steel on the second, on the third floor and up, right? So here we are on Crown Street. Somebody in the comments asked me to take a little walk down Crown Street. All right, that's Crown Street here in Georgetown, Crown and New Garden. Right, that's Crown Street and New Garden Street and so there's more construction here on Crown Street that building is a residential building looks like it's going to be three floors and they're using concrete pillars these buildings have also been constructed using concrete pillars All right so what is happening is that there's an inconsistency in the transition from concrete to steel. Public procurement building ahead. They seem to have solar panels on their roof, which is also another transition that's happening, right? So, and over here, this is another new construction. Another new building being constructed, being constructed, constructed here. This looks like a residential building, three floors, and they've already put a rental sign on it. it says for rent. All right, Casa Nuvo Investments. Apparently they're constructing this building here on New Garden Street. And like I said, these buildings, as long as it's three floors and up, three floors and lower, three stories and lower, do not need piles in the foundation. They're residential buildings. They don't necessarily need steel frames. But now the buildings that go higher than Three floors do need uh, piles usually they do need piles to be driven in the foundation because it's a very soft clay soil and if your building is going to be really heavy it's going to shift or sink found the foundation over time but the, the point I'm making is this is how this phase of transformation in Guyana is happening and the problem I have with it is that it's inconsistent and a lot of it is being driven by uh, the need or the desire to make money, not necessarily taking into account safety. This is La Looney Street. Again, some new buildings, new construction on La Looney Street. These are larger buildings, but they're residential buildings and they're three floors tall. And so they require a certain amount of here. All right, that's Laluni Street and New Garden. All right, New Garden Street and Laluni Street. Looking back at New Garden. That's Laluni. The next street in that direction is um, Ornock. Ornock Street. 
and this building runs into the end it this street comes to an end at um, comes to an end okay this is the Ministry of Parliamentary Affairs over here on New Garden Street the street comes to an end at Lamaha Street here is also some recent construction of a residential building that's now being used for rental and a foundation is next over here it's the embassy all right the Suriname is it Suriname embassy and this is a Naira Street Naira, that's an Naira looking east. And that's an Naira looking west again. A number of these residences are occupied by diplomats or the diplomatic missions, ambassadors, for example. That's the Indian ambassador's house over there. That's the Indian ambassador, Suriname embassy. And so on so what I'm pointing out is the transformation of Georgetown with new construction in the era of oil and gas and what we're looking at is how the construction materials and the architecture is changing and whether in fact safety especially in very tall buildings whether in fact safety is playing a role in the choice over here is diplomatic security uh, building they are actually running a security building security office uh, security business out of that building next door this building has been for sale for a number of years it's about 10 years now it's on the market right it's for sale for about 500,000 US dollars half a million US dollars I think I once contacted the seller to find out how serious they were and from the look of things since then that is about five years ago when I contracted the seller they haven't they haven't sold this building So this building is for sale apparently still hasn't sold in five years or more since the last time I've contacted them but that's New Garden Street guys that is New Garden Street we've gone the length of it and what I've shown you is how the how New Garden Street is being transformed in the era of oil and gas we're now on Lamaha Street we've crossed over Lamaha Street and this is the train line embankment that's being transformed into what is now called a train line park tra train line park right train line park but that's what's happening here in Georgetown Guyana if you haven't been back to Guyana in a long time and you're wondering how residential neighborhoods are being transformed this is it this is how Queenstown is being transformed with new construction of residential buildings and how Georgetown is changing in the era of oil and gas. If you want to see more content like this, click like and subscribe. In the comments below, tell me what you think about the new construction that's happening in Queenstown and the attention to detail, attention to security and safety that should be um, paramount and primary, especially as we build bigger and taller buildings. And whether you think that's being done here in Guyana. Share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening here in the fastest growing economy in the world. Georgetown, Guyana. Later.